All right, here we are, guys, back for Golf Clash tutorial here, hole number three. What I'm going to suggest for this one is definitely side spin ball. If you don't want to go Kingmaker, you probably want to go, go Katana ball. And that's for the extra side spin. Keep it away from the bunker. Keep it away from, uh, you know, any trouble that you could get off the tee. The more side spin and curl that you can put on, the better. So um, what you'll see me do even sometimes, uh, depending on if we have a tailwind, probably actually has a tailwind, you can even go with uh, you know, rock or QB as well. You really don't need a lot of top spin on this one. And there you, there you have it, it is a tailwind. You can probably do a Q QB if you want. As you can see, you know, I don't need real power. It's gonna be more of a precision shot. And the, act the extra curl that you can get uh, will be highly favorable. So here, what you're going to see me do, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get just a little bit precision loss when I do this. I'm going to go pretty close to five rings here, and I'm just going to maximize my curl. You know, try not to add any power. There you can see I got perfect ball anyway, so it's, you know, going to be relatively moot. Um, but, you know, if you hit it off towards the uh, left, with a great ball or something, you know, you could start to cheat a little bit closer to the bunker. However, if you bring QB, then you will easily stay away from the sand um, because you'll be able to curl it more than I just did. And there's essentially no possible way for you to over curl it. So you can pretty much max curl it. Um, notice I just used four top spins. So it really doesn't need to be a very aggressive drive and I'm down there plenty. Um, more so than anything, the, the reason that you'll see me use a Kingmaker, uh, it'll help me get that Albatross on the second shot. So that's why I would choose Kingmaker over uh, Katana. However, you know, that, that nice side spin element is going to, you know, be much more favorable over, say, a Titan. Just, especially just in case, you know, you do make a little mental mistake and don't get that perfect ball. So here you can see where we are. Um, we're out towards Min Club a little bit. And what I'll sometimes do, maybe a minus 5% or so, I'm gonna use about four backspin here. here. Here you'll see that I'll kind of intentionally kind of keep the ball guide short. Um, I'm gonna go about six rings here. Um, I don't really have enough time to play around with that slider, but that's 6.2 rings. I'll show you kind of where I am. Ah! Uh, did not expect that great ball. So there you can see that it just kind of shoots off towards the left. But let me just kind of show you, you know, I was kind of down here towards min club a bit, quarter club, 6.1. Some, somewhere in there. I actually have, you know, quite a bit of problems hitting perfect ball. I don't know if it's, you know, the animation of this hole or something, but it just does not like to give me perfect ball in this hole no matter what. I feel like that one kind of jumped across the perfect ball, and then I'll have other times where it just seems to lag and where, you know, I'll try to anticipate you know, that jump, and then it'll just, you know, completely be on the other side. So this hole, you know, gives me all kinds of fits. I'm um, trying to get that perfect ball. But you can see that, uh, you know, we'll have a, a very easy possibility there for Albatross. You know, good luck with that hole, you guys, and I'll catch you guys on hole four coming up.